Shalom, Israel. Kahala Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All praise be to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Double honesty, apostles, and elders, GMS, the rule well. Brock a thumb, now you arguing. This out there is pushing this truth. And all sincerity and strength, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. On the four corners of the globe. Um, it's GMS, stop and listen. GMS, Arkansas. Um, I got two scriptures I want to bring out. And the reason why I want to bring them out uh, is because the scriptures say for us to examine ourselves, right? So we were out on the streets and I was actually watching a video that uh, through the spirit we done on the streets and we went over, the brothers was reading these two particular scriptures. Um, when I went back and looked at the, the video, I said to myself, I could have actually uh, edified that scripture a lot better than I did. Um, but you know, when you're in battle, you don't think of that. It's why you go back and when you're putting up your videos, man, you examine them, man. So you see things like that. Um, so I want to go back over those same two scriptures to edify those scriptures, you know, now. Um, one being the brother read Isaiah 55. He was reading 55. He read, I think, from 6 through uh, 11. And I just think I could have did a better job of edifying it. Because, you know, when you're on the streets, things are going like fast motion like that. So um, this is Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. You look up that word seek. That comes from a Hebrew word, uh, darash. That means to inquire, to consult, to seek for, uh, seek for or demand, you know, uh, when you get, when you, when you seeking for the Lord through these scriptures, man, you got to investigate, man. You got to be like an investigator. You know, you got to be willing to go in there and get through the dirty parts, you know, get down, down and dirty, man. You got to go through these scriptures, man, you know. And it takes practice, you know. Practice makes you know perfect. It's, they say in the world, right? So you have to continue to practice in order to become better at reading these scriptures, searching, uh, knowing uh, Hebrew words or whatnot, um, speaking. You have to practice constantly. And like if you ever played ball. The, the normally the best player if he's been practicing constantly on that last shot what is he going to do he's going to demand the ball right so you have to be you have to practice and and make yourself be demanding in searching out the scriptures man I'm trying to find how about shimmy i was shot through these scriptures it says seek you the lord while he may be found right why he may be present why he may be uh, acquire for you to seek him because is there going to come a day uh, pursuing Amos 8 that this word is going to be shut off man you know and then after that it's going to be in that time it's going to be Jacob's trouble so you need to seek the Lord now get this knowledge understanding and wisdom now because it says knowledge and wisdom should be the stability of that time so right now is the time to seek the Lord man that you may live later, you know. And it says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. So you have to call out and cry out while he is at hand, you know. Because that Jacob's trouble is coming. That time is coming, you know. Well, brothers going to probably be shut off from brothers. Uh, possibly you might be in concentration camps where you won't even have no scriptures. So you're going to have to maintain the stuff you learn, man. Remember what you learned so you'll be able to uh, maintain, man, and stay stable in that day. It says, let the wicked forsake his way, verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon so you have to forsake your way. You have to depart and abandon, you know. Neglect those those old ways, man. Relinquish that old man, you know. 
come back to the Lord, the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Come back to the Lord, you know, in all faith and sincerity, man. And the Lord will pardon, pardon all those transgressions that you have, man. Just like a person go to prison, they go to prison 30, 40 years, they get pardoned. All that that they have done, they is is forgotten. They let them out of prison, you know. Let them out of that that bondage. So us coming back to the Lord is Him getting us out of that 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 bondage of sin, man. You know, pardon pardon all that all that the foul way we was living. But you have to relinquish that, man, and, and be an investigator and come back and search and seek, man, and demand and practice in these scriptures, man. You have to you have to read constantly and search, man. That's what it's about. Verse eight. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said Yahweh. He said, My thoughts are not your thoughts. You look that word thoughts up, it's plans and purpose and intentions. Right? He says his intentions, his plans, his purpose is not yours. Because what you thinking, hey, you you are far off from what Yahweh Shem Yahweh shy the way he thinks his plan. It says, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. His ways are exalted way over your, your ways. His plan is exalted higher than yours. His intentions. It says, and my thoughts than your thoughts. You know? Because you how about Shemya was shy? It's like, what, what his intentions are, you can't even, as a human, you can't even imagine, man. It exceeds anything you could ever imagine. You know. If the Lord Yahweh Shah came down and said, This is what I'm thinking, and touched you on your head and opened you up to see what he's thinking, your head will bust right off your shoulders, man. It'll pop. You know. So nobody could come close to the to the you can't even come close to the depths of Yahweh Shimyao Shah's wisdom, man. You know. It says for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth a bud that it may give water to the sore and bread to the eater. Because when it rains, the water doesn't go, it doesn't rain and then the rain shoot back up. You know, some t it some some of it does is called vapor, but the majority of it what goes in the earth, right? And it goes to a specific seed, right? And what it does, water that seed that it may what come alive and grow, right? That's the purpose when rain comes down, right? And it says, "So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth." So his word gonna be like that rain that comes down to water those seeds, right, and make them alive. It says, it shall not return unto me void, right? It shall not turn without effect, right? Because the effect that the Lord word going to have, what? The word is going to go out, right? And it's going to actually water what? Those particular sinners that's supposed to wake up. It's going to water them. It's going to nourish them and bring them what? Back alive, man. You know, that they'll be able to worship you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai and all his truth and sincerity, man? The elect, man. Because all the elect were sinners at one time, man. And that word went out and it hit each one of them, man, and brought them back alive. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void without effect. Because the effect is what is going to wake up the elect, man. But it shall accomplish that which I please. He's telling you, it's going to accomplish it. That which is pleased, right? Waking up the elect. Nourishing the elect. And it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it, you know. So the, that Lord's word is going to do the Lord's will. His purpose, his intentions for his word is going to hit the mark and do what it's supposed to, man. You know, that's why I say his ways are higher than your, your ways. You can't even fathom that, man. Man's purpose is to continue to be in his flesh and, and, and sin and be evil, man. All the brothers who they who they are, of the elect brothers, 
you know, brothers that's teaching, they had no clue that they were going to be teaching uh, 20 years ago. If they'd been in 30 years, 50, 40 years ago, they didn't know that they were going to be doing this, man. Like, at this magnitude that we're doing it. That was the Lord's purpose. That was his plan. His ways were higher than your ways, you know. And I got one more scripture. This is uh, Daniel's 12. Like I said, man, we have to examine ourselves. When we put these videos up, man, hey, brothers, go back and watch the videos close, man, because it's always something that, you know, we can improve on. And I saw that, hey, I could have edified a little better, because that's what we're here to do, edify, spiritually build up, you know, the brotherhood, man. It's our job, man. Um, Daniel's 12. And he read the brother read 12 and 2. He read 12 and 2. But I'm going to go read 12 and 1. It says, at, And at that time shall Michael, the head archangel, stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. For the elect, the Israelites, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. That time of trouble is Jacob's trouble, man. That time is coming. Esau is gonna, gonna come full force with everything he got to try to put the. Uh, in that time where Esau is gonna be fighting against Yahweh, and Yahweh comes back to set the uh, order up. That's going to be the time around time of Jacob's trouble, man. Esau going to be coming hard on Jacob. Right? Concentration camps to chip. You know? And in that same time, Yahweh Shadim is going to be coming back destroying this place. Him and the archangels and Esau are going to be fighting. Right? And it says, And at that time thy people shall be delivered, the elect, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right? It's the elect, the one third of the elect. Verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. So who are who are dead in the dust of the, of the earth. It says, some to everlasting life, meaning eternal life, right? Uh like eternity of kind, eternal life, everlasting life, right? And some to shame and everlasting contempt. Now contempt, contempt, I'm going to look that word. They're going to wait to everlasting contempt. Contempt, the etymology of the word contempt from Latin, contemptus, meaning scorn, from par, past participial contempt contemporary to scorn or despise. To scorn or despise. So they're going to wake up to, to being despised, abhorrence, being hated, you know. And if they're going to be looked at as abominations. They're going to be looked at as worthless. That's how they're going to wake up. And that, and that's going to be two-thirds two -thirds of our people. When they, when they die on this planet, they go up to the Father and they realize all the, their shame for all the stuff they done down here especially when they come against the men of the lord because now when they in, in the heavens they understand that they're israelites also so there's shame on them but then to them other nations in esau they gonna all wait they're gonna wait after they die and come back they're gonna come back in slavery man they're gonna wait to everlasting uh being hated and scorned and despised you know it's gonna be until ever until we the thousand years they serve until we kill them, you know. So, you know, just trying to examine myself, brother. We we go out here on these highways and byways, man. We we out there battling. You, you going over scriptures, man. Sometimes they come like this. A lot of stuff is going on, you know. So when you go back and look, it's always something you say, "Hey, I could have did this better," or "I could have held a sign higher," or you know, "I could have been more attentive on posts." Hey, I could have read more forceful about reading. Uh, could have spoke louder when I was speaking. 
you know, use more examples. It's always something you can do to, you know, keep better yourself in the truth and in following the truth, man. And I hope this was edifying, man. You know, appreciate Cal GMS Arkansas. Stop and listen, man. Uh, just all praise be to how about shit, y'all shot, man. Double honors to the apostles of elders of GMS. And Brock down all you Aki that's out there that's pushing his truth on the four corners of the globe and all truths and sincerity. Straight y'all about shit, y'all shot. Hey, with that, man, I hope it was edifying, man. Shout out to one.